Hey everybody, back with a new episode of Timeless. Really excited to get into this considering it's the penultimate episode, but also with the final episode being a movie. I don't know if this is really the intended finale and then the movie is kind of its own thing. I I'm curious to see if I can tell. Um, Cause I know uh, the the future of the show was always kind of uncertain, so I don't I don't know what they knew at what time what was going to be made. Uh, but last episode, we had uh, them going back to the Civil War, and uh, Rittenhouse, of course, going after Harriet Tubman, but she handled it, and she she experienced um, visions in the same way that Gia does. Um, she definitely related that to, you know, being like a God-given gift, whereas Gia uh, talked to the original pilot who has the villains, who told her just to lean into it, experience these visions. Um, but, you know, he he definitely is like too far in it, and uh, she, I think, maybe can control it a little bit more, but if she can, you know, save Rufus. That's, that's the goal here. And then, you know, when they got back, Jessica revealed herself. She took off with the time machine. I don't know what she knew when, how involved she's been. Like, was it always from the beginning? Did she get with Wyatt because that was her orders? Or did they do something after they fixed her timeline where she didn't die? I don't, I don't know. Um, but Wyatt now knows what he was refusing to accept. And uh, I'm excited to see what the fallout's gonna be, what they're gonna do now that she took off with the ship. Uh, I, I don't know what to expect with this episode called Chinatown, but I, I, don't, I wonder if it's gonna feel like a conclusion where, and then the, sh the, the movie is, something else but we'll see because I know this episode aired with last episode so I wonder if there's going to be direct continuation I I'm just very curious how this episode's going to go so let's get into it oh my god she took Gia, yeah, Gia took the lifeboat what wait, wait wait hold on so so Jessica is written now has the lifeboat where did she do it Gia this is so bad <sighs> We asked you, I asked you to tell us if she said or did anything to make you think she was written. He didn't do anything he wrong. Didn't. He didn't. He didn't suspect anything. I did. You did? What? The brother the thing? Brother. He's the mechanic in Hayward. Jessica was screwing you. She lied about being pregnant. And then she wrapped you around her finger just so long enough to screw us too. We're sitting there. Stand up. Fight. Wyatt, calm the fuck down. No, no. Emma, isn't it amazing? You're out of the loop, aren't you? Jessica brought us the lifeboat along with one of their pilots, Gia. So now we have a backup in case something happens. Oh, you're getting pushed out. If anything happens to her, Wyatt, I don't think I can ever forgive you. It's tough. Oh, shit. Did pass out on the bed? Gia, did you go time traveling? <gasps> yeah! <laughs> Holy shit! Go, girl! Damn. Stop. Emma! <gasps> shit, 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 shit. She did. Gia! Save her damn self. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, uh, it's because Emma shot this shit up. No! I found her. Oh shit! Oh my god. She's been obsessed with this book ever since she had those visions of the Golden Gate Bridge. San Francisco, Chinatown, 1888. It's Cleon. She's sending us a message. To you! Cleon? What a nice guy. It's a series of numbers. Is that the correct coordinate? This is crazy. Wouldn't it be all rusted? All it takes is one hiker to find the thing. Oh my god. Now that is some 
good old fashioned Nathan in the street. <laughs> you still got it. What's our confidence level that this 130 year old vine covered machine isn't going to just make us explode into war? I would Mrs. be worried. Green. Really? Mm -hmm. Whose fault is all of this? They've been fighting for the actual bad guys. Come on. Yeah, that lifeboat is resilient. No, we've had a lot of Damn it, Emma, can you go somewhere? You too, Jessica. Oh, fuck all of you. Are you telling me that she has been here by herself without us for three years? How are we ever gonna find She's her? She's doing it though. Lucy! <gasps> So sick of this. <gasps> oh shit! Emma! She's rogue. She just killed the like main Rittenhouse dude. That was so unceremonious. There's still so much you don't know. Tell us! About you, your father, our family. They gave me purpose. They taught me everything. They're not bad people. They're my family. No, but Girl. Jessica, I knew had a family. Rittenhouse went back in time and they stole her from them. Are you really pregnant? Yes. Oh, you are? Am I the father? Yes. Then yes. we're your family. I really do love you. She's indoctrinated, man. Like Why does the red haired lady want to hurt Gia? Wait, you know her you know well. Who she is? She works at the Bison Horn Salon. I'll take you. Let's go. We should wait for White and Flynn. I'll meet you there. I don't want to waste another minute. Come on, let's go. Oh, Saloon Spurs! That's why she doesn't want you to come. She is so fucking capable. Damn it! We start to leave. I hear a clock strike seven. I see a gun on a chair. You know the exact time. Oh. I don't give a damn about Wyatt. It's not why I'm here. It's you, Lucy. He's here for why you. Are you here? Are we doing this right now? Oh, oh, we almost. Damn it. We better get to it in the movie. I do this every time they go on one of their trips. You never wondered why there's so many ugly scars <laughs> Well, I just don't know how you can stay so calm. I'm not. This is how I manage my anxiety. It's like walking around with your heart on the outside. There's a word for that. <laughs> Panic. Family. Found family. We love to see it. We're thinking of opening up our own place together. Okay, great. You can call it Gia. So everyone will know your name. Gia, this is crazy. <laughs> Why? It's to save your life. I'm not the same Gia you It doesn't seem like it. But she's always been capable, Rufus. You know that. <laughs> We're together. We take out Ridden House together. We are going home together. Are we clear? Team on three. Right. Yeah, on the end, I was like better than a speech in Rudy. <laughs> she's good at it. I'm not leaving. Just go, okay, before it's too late. Gia! Well, party's already started. Where is she? Oh, boy! Head in Got it. Jessica, what's even your reasoning now? And that's not who you believe in. Oh, Seriously, please! She's Kill pregnant. Rufus, don't. No, 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 no. The gun. It was there. I told you. Yes. You did it. You changed it. You saved him. You did it. Yay. Emma, I am so going to enjoy them killing you. Fuck! Get to the lifeboat. Why? Why is they trying to kill Rufus? No. No show. No. Y'all better fix this. Kill 
kill her. Yes. <laughs> Lucy, do it. Oh shit, she went for it. I'm proud of you, girl. Damn it. Connor's gonna be so sad. Oh my god. No, no fucking no. Oh my god. I told you you'd die if I came home. Why did you listen? Fuck this. What you got? What you got? What you got? Please, 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 please. <gasps> oh, that's Connor. That's Connor. He's just gone. No. I'm never gonna see Rufus again. <laughs> no, no, no. He's alone. No. <laughs> No. No one to identify him. No one to bury him. No one to bury him. No. No. Not Rufus. Not Rufus. I love you, Lucy. Right now? You don't have to say it back. It. What? What? You guys want to get Rufus back? Yes! Let's fucking go! Oh, hell yes! This must be... This must be the way older Lucy went to Flint. They must have kept working on the technology, not only... Or just to be able to travel to timelines that they weren't able to do at this point, which means they can go save Rufus. Oh, my God. Literally the only reason I chose this show to keep watching out of all the shows that I was watching, this one made the cut because of Rufus. So if they were going to kill him, I was going to be so fucking mad. And they did kill him. But it seems like the conceit of the movie will be rectifying that. And I'm okay with that. <sighs> because as much as fate made it so that he had to die they are choosing their own paths and older <laughs> older lucy and wyatt like holy shit what have they been up to older and lucy wyatt figured it out and they're gonna go save him and they're gonna like how is that gonna work how is them going to interact with old them how is that gonna work oh my god i'm so excited the movie better be bomb so happy oh man oh man Gia you know she was killing me because she knew she knew and she was right she didn't see this coming but uh it, the, the day that she was dreading finally happened and even though she was able to change it it still kept course correcting to him dying there uh, I'm so excited by this possibility now, though. They have to save him. That's the point of the movie. Ah! Jessica, I just don't understand. Like, okay, they indoctrinated you. Why would you keep following Emma if she broke the whole, like, idea of Rittenhouse, which is these, like, family units that are elite? I mean, I'm not mad at her for killing them, but she only cares about herself and she got to go. And I am proud of Lucy for going for it. You know, the, 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 there was no more bullets, I guess. But she took her shot and she kept shooting. Even when Flynn showed up, she tried to use his gun. It's necessary, man. And that's some, she, something she's learned along the way. So good for her. Flynn obviously was going to tell her that he loved her. 
he hasn't just been on this mission to get his family back. I think he fell in love with her based on her writings, based on what he's gotten to know about her, her tenacity. And uh, Wyatt said what he didn't. And uh, I'll be very curious to see how that goes in the movie. Uh, Wyatt, you know, is still trying to save Jessica just by the very nature of her being pregnant. But I think that relationship is over. So Lucy's just going to have a direct choice. Who does she want to be with? I obviously prefer her with Flynn, honestly. Wyatt and she just never really did it for me, even though I'll be fine if they end up together. It's whatever. But I think, I think Lucy and Flynn have better chemistry. It's just as simple as that. Even though F Wyatt is a better person. But uh, if, if Flynn is having this character arc where he is becoming better, I'm here for that. So we'll see how it goes. Connor was also killing me here. Oh, him, him, his relationship with Rufus has always been just so special. And him not wanting to lose Gia was so sweet as well. And I'm just really excited for them to get him back because I know they will. And uh, like Lucy's mom said, there is more to know here. And I can't wait to know it. Uh, it sucks that, like Lucy said, she just, you know, to the very end, wanted her to know her legacy, wouldn't let go of these ideas, these ideals of Rittenhouse. And Lucy was just never going to be about that. Sorry, Mom. Sorry you had to die and never really understand your daughter. But it is what it is. I'm still expecting them to also save Amy at some point. Her mom acknowledge that she did this at the expense of Amy which is so fucked up honestly mom what the hell but she's dead now and that top written house like I don't care at all that he died obviously but he was just such a a non-starter for me I didn't care about him ever ever he's not he wasn't compelling or interesting to me in the slightest but uh I'm very excited for what the movie is going to be. I feel like it's going to be a hell yeah. And I feel like at this point they had to have known that the movie was going to come. They wouldn't have ended it like that if not. So what a way to set it up. I think it really helped me not knowing if this was going to be a, a, a final finale. It helped me think maybe they really were just killing Rufus here uh, and then fixing that in the movie when that came about. But I don't think they would have done this if they didn't know that they could fix it with the movie. So I'm excited. <sighs> ah, I'm so excited. But Gia, oh my God, just doing it, doing her thing, lasting three years, working at a saloon, making friends. That little girl was so sweet. I wish we could have known more about their friendship. But uh, she's so capable and uh, even more so now that she's had the experience that she's had. And I can't wait for her to reunite with Rufus because I think Gia and Rufus's relationship is the heart of the show. So I just loved the overlying theme of this episode being this found family that they have, including including Denise and Connor and Flynn. Like, it's wild, but this is where we're at. So I'm very, very excited for the actual finale. I am, I will cheer so loudly when we finally get him back, because I have no doubt that we will. That's the whole point of this. We have to break this fate cycle bullshit, and I'm excited to see them do that. So yeah, this was really good, even though... It, uh, Seeing Rufus die and feeling those feelings was not fun, but it has set up a an, an exciting finale that has brought like this big narrative to it to a head, uh, where we knew that in the future Lucy was able to time travel to timelines that they weren't able to access previously so for that to come in 
at the same time of us needing to get back to a timeline we've been to before is beautiful. So I'm very, very excited to get to do, get to see this, witness that movie. I hope it's great. So yeah, really good episode. So thanks for watching guys. I'll be back soon.